I'm Petar Rijan and I am the composer for this production. I think interpreting words is always very interesting. Like I really do think that cross-pollination of media is one of the best things you can do. So to get inspired to make sounds and music based on words and rhythm of words, I think is a very interesting process. But the interpreting the words is the key. They're brutally honest and everyone really says what they mean almost immediately and having a text that's so honest also means that music also has to be honest. It sounds like a calm apartment next to a massive industrial factory where they're like constructing trains but you're also kind of going insane so you can't tell what's coming from outside the flat and inside the flat and you're pretty sure someone in the radiator is trying to speak to you. Abrasive ear-shattering, hopefully. This time it has a little bit more restraint and grace. It's also beautiful, in fact I might say so myself, but it's a hard, hard listen. I don't think many people would appreciate listening to this on their own. I, I know Oli for a while now and I knew him before starting on this production and that's also why I got involved so early because I started interpreting the words and his work before he asked me to. From a small school project, this became very big overnight. It turned from 14 pages to full script in just nine hours. And I'm like, wow, you, that happened quickly. And then the next day, it's like, oh yeah, I'll cast it. <laughs> and so we, we got everything done uh, because there was a venue already waiting for a play. So uh, they asked him to come back and perform, write something new, so he did. The last time we were lacking uh, dance, but this time seeing actual dancing and choreography and especially some of set to the pieces I wrote before without choreography and, and dancing in mind, it uh, kind of blo blows my mind and it's really touching. So uh, definitely the dancing I think is strong. I had this horrible nightmare.